MEV stands for maximum extractable value and it's the revenue you can get from ordering transactions in a block in a certain way. Three most popular ways to do MEV is sandwiching, when you buy before someone and sell just after him a particular token, liquidations, this is what we're going to talk today about, and then we have arbitrage when you uh, try to buy on one exchange, sell on another within one transaction or a couple of transactions so that you profit from the difference. So let's get started with liquidations uh, and explain what that is. So you might be aware of Aave. Aave is basically this protocol where you can lend your ETH or lend your USDC, get some kind of a yield on that and also borrow using that as a collateral. So basically when you borrow, you have some kind of a threshold. This threshold means that if we go below that, if it goes below one, then basically your position gets liquidated. How does liquidation works? So contrary to popular belief that it's automated, actually there's a call to be made on chain. Someone has to come and actually liquidate your position. And this is where liquidations comes into play because someone has to do that transaction and for that he or she will receive a reward. And that reward is why MEV makes sense here. And that's why people are trying to make it as fast as possible. So whenever someone drops below one, uh, there's some computation to be made whether it's, it's profitable to actually liquidate that person and then you can go on. So let's get started to see how it looks from Aave perspective. Uh, this is FAQ on liquidations from Aave with a simple example that Bob deposits 10 ETH and borrows 5 ETH worth of DAI. And then if Bob's health factor, so that's the threshold I was talking about, drops below one, his loan will be eligible for liquidation. Uh, so then someone can come up and call and liquidate Bob, basically uh, allowing the liquidator to repay up to 50% of a single borrowed amount. So in this case, 2.5 ETH, because he got uh, 5 ETH in total of DAI. And then in return, he gets a single collateral, which is ETH, uh, together with this 5% bonus. So in this case, he can claim 2.5 uh, plus 0.25, this is 5%, uh, if for repaying 2.5. So you got to have 2.5, uh, but you can use that last one here. So as you can see, as you will see in an example in a moment, uh, people don't even ha need to take that amount of, of, of money. You basically have to have uh, if to cover the gas costs and you can do everything. So from the developer's perspective, if you go to uh, other developers, basically they have a code for everything and it's pretty easy to, to explain if you want to get into that. Actually, the harder part is to first of all spot the, uh, spot, spot the opportunities, do the computations quickly so you, you manage to get the, the position fast and your bot will be running first and also it will be profitable so you won't pay more in gas than you will pay you will get from the liquidating uh, so that's really important uh, so and then making sure that everything is optimal and optimized uh, so getting back to liquidations how it works from the developer's perspective is basically there's this health factor and if it's go go below one then basically anyone can make a liquidation call to the pool or l2 pool and get the debt uh, from from the from the pool, uh, and this works as in this example with Bob. Uh, so there are some computations to be made whether that's profitable or not, uh, and some interesting cases to uh, v2 and v3 version. But basically, that's the principle. This is how liquidations work. Uh, so you can basically there's this whole logic you can do, uh, and even if you want to start, basically you can basically take those prerequisites put them in chat GPT and it will give you a code for a simple liquidations bot, which I recommend for you to do if you want to get deeply into the technical part. Uh, however, you will see that it's uh, actually uh, difficult to compute how much of uh, gas you should pay. Uh, and even the uh, other mentions that on the website that you have to uh, calculate profitability versus gas cost. Uh, and there's a bunch of ingredients going into that. Uh, for example, if you were to see a particular transaction, how it looks like, uh, this is the one of the transactions I found of liquidations. Uh, this is someone liquidating uh, someone for 0.9 ETH. Um, and basically, as you can see in the first one, he, he there's the MEV bot. He got the flash loan from Balancer, so for 0 0.9. Uh, and then he calls Ave to liquidate. And then he, he receives some amount of that back. Uh, you can see also that transaction on EigenFee. EigenFee is a tool where you can go for everything related to MEV. Really recommended. Uh, and you can see everything being done lately. 
So those are the transactions. Liquidations are uh, by far the least profitable of the sandwiching and arbitrage. People are making definitely more money on sandwiching and arbitrage, especially in a market like that, because liquidations are happening when there's a lot of volatility. We're in the top market right now when it's moving slowly up and down and basically people are not getting liquidated. Uh, most of the liquidations happen when there's a lot of volatility and the price goes quickly up or quickly down or both ways. Uh, so this is when uh, liquidations are extremely profitable. Uh, so you can see that in the past 30 days, there were only like 72 liquidations uh, for around $3 million. The total profit was uh, $137,000. Uh, uh, $137, and altogether, the re that, was the, that was the profit altogether. Uh, and you can see a bunch of other stats as well. And you can see some of the transactions. Uh, so this is the transactions I have found here. You can see that this is the, this is the liquidation here. Uh, and someone made basically uh, the profit was one dollar on this transaction on 0 0.9 if so it's really super optimized if, and if you co compute the cost of gas badly then you will end up losing money so it's really hard to make it right and that's why even though liquidation sound uh, super easy in theory because you know what's easier than calling one function and sending some if and getting getting it back then basically it's really complicated because you are competing with other mev bots and it might be hard to compute the gas right so that you still win the transaction win the liquidation but uh, and you're still profitable so it's really hard to make it happen also there are less transactions than for example for sandwiching because for sandwiching especially in meme coin season right like right now uh, those transactions are happening over and over again what i would recommend is definitely check out the ava documentation if you want to get and understand liquidations go, get to eigenfi see a couple of transactions and then play around with chat gpt to see how the code might work and maybe code something for yourself and deploy of course for everything else subscribe to the channel i tend to cover everything related to mev but meme coins pro new protocols new chains and everything that interests me in crypto so subscribe and see you in the next video